And yes, we are having another basic beer review. It's not. It's been a bit of time since the last one, but I'm still here, still doing it, still keeping it real. And we're going to be keeping it real today with a can of the Heathen Club IPA. I mean, it's a club. It's not an IPA. Sorry, it's a Clubhouse Hazy Pale, 4.6 percent. Why am I shouting? I have absolutely no idea. So. Um, let's have a see. It's because I'm so excited about trying this beer. That's what the thing is. I'm just excited. Northern Monk, um, they're all over the supermarkets at the moment. I've had good ones, I've had bad ones. I used to love them. Back when I first got into craft beer, Northern Monk was my go to brewery. Uh, basically, because it was in the supermarkets, and that, that's generally where I got all my craft stuff. Um, but also because it was decent. It was. It had a really nice taste to it. It was felt authentic. It tasted authentic. It tasted. I know, just tasted good quality. I was really impressed with it. And as I say, this one, just look at that. That just called to me. I was like, yes, that looks great. That looks cool. Um, it was in four packs. Um, I honestly can't remember now how much they were. Um, I think they were about between five and six pound for four cans. Possibly might have been a bit more, about, about six pound for four cans. Either way, it was a steal. Um, well, it depends on how good it is, obviously. I'm not expecting it to be atrocious, because it's Northern Monk, and they don't brew rubbish. But, who knows? Let's have a see. It's a four. It's 4.6% ABV. Does it say anything else about it? Um, not really, no. Um, let's have a see. Those who roll the dice with us have good odds. Okay, right. Ah, so, Clubhouse, it's all about that. It's like being in the Clubhouse... Playing some poker or whatever, or playing some dice. Let's uh, should we crack it open? I don't. I can't think of anything else to say, really. I'm here to talk about the beer though, not about the can. Although the artwork, I do love the artwork. It's great. Um, it's similar to artwork to the uh, to the Holy Faith, really. Similar colour scheme to the Holy Faith, but I know it's not supposed to be like that because the Holy Faith is an AF version of Faith, obviously. Um, this is different Heathen Club. It's hazy, it's juicy, it's tropical. Let's get into the glass and see what it looks like. So that's interesting. It does look a bit like... It's a very similar colour to the Holy, to the Holy Faith, even though it's not supposed to be. Oh, let's get it all in there. It's only a small can. So as I say, four small cans for um, about five, six quid. Um, and I say that, you can't complain at that kind of price unless it's absolutely atrocious. But if it's decent, then you definitely can't complain at that price. So let's have a little look at it. So it is quite a light yellow colour. Um, it's hazy, it's the colour of a, almost like a, I don't know, pineapple juice, not quite pineapple juice, a little bit of orange juice in there. Um, it's somewhere between a pineapple juice and an orange juice in colour. Let's uh, let's have a smell. Oh, so straight away there I'm being hit in the face with, it smells like I'm being hit in the face with Simcoe. Um, again, I don't think it says anything about the hops in here. If there isn't Simcoe in this beer, then I am an idiot, but you know what? It certainly smells like there is to me. Um, and it smells like it's got mosaic in it as well. Yeah, I'm getting that lovely kind of earthy note that I get with Simcoe. Getting a bit of peach. You're getting your mango there. That's what makes me think it's got mosaic in it. It does smell. It smells tropical. It smells fruity. It smells dank. It smells a little bit savoury. It smells just like the kind of beer that I like to drink. And with summer just to, well, <laughs> with spring just around the corner, um, and hopefully the weather getting nicer soon, this will be perfect when I am sat out in that garden. So, let's go for the old taste. Cheers. So, it's very soft in the mouthfeel. It's got quite a light mouthfeel. It's quite light in flavour, but it is 4.6%. So, you know, you're not going to expect to be absolutely hit in the face with loads and loads of different flavours. But to be honest, it's really, really nice. It's got orange in there, a bit of apricot on the taste. A little bit of candied peel. But only a touch. It's not over, um, over kind of like candy-ish, which some beers I find tend to be. It's, it's 
it's got a very it's got a nice smooth feels nice and smooth in the mouth but it's also got a very soft flavor to it very low bitterness indeed so it depends if you like them bitter or not but this one um I'm, it's, it's going down a treat really to be honest I should have this is my last can of this actually so I have actually had the other three cans of this um, this is my last can it's a shame really because I'm going to have not much for the thumbnail because I will have drunk most of this when I finish reviewing it but what can I say what else can I say um, it's a bit peachy bit of stone fruit in there it's um, it's very well balanced it's a little bit creamy it's light and when I'm while I'm drinking this, all I can do is picture myself in the garden with the sun beating down on me. It is just sort of yeah. It puts me in mind of oh. now. I'm gonna make me feel self look stupid now because I've forgotten the brewery's name. But it's like Evil Twin or something. It's the ones who did the Roaster Coaster with Brewdog. They did a session pale um, a few years ago. And I remember drinking that in the garden when it was in that massive heat wave we had. Um, and it was just amazing. It just went down such a treat. And this reminds me of that. It does remind me of that. Is it Evil Twin? I think it is. I think it's called something like that. It's the ones who did Roaster Coaster with uh, with Brewdog anyway. And they did, a, they, did a, they did like a session pail and it was very similar to this. Very easy to drink, very soft mouth feel, lovely fruity flavour, little bit of dankness, just a little bit of everything, just what you want from a session pail as far as I'm concerned. And at four cans for five to six pounds, it is an absolute steal. Tesco, probably have it other places as well. Grab yourself a can of this. Heathen Club, uh, Clubhouse, Hazy Pale. Yeah, beautiful, really sessionable beer. And as I say, you'll need to get more than one four pack, I reckon, because this goes down too easy. Anyway, until next time, have a good one.